Hey, 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 everybody, Michelle is here, relaxing and lounging in my backyard. I, you know, I finished uh, having a little, I guess, uh, cost, um, presentation or a, um, orientation for setting up a nonprofit. And of course, I knew it would be overwhelming with paperwork and laws and regulations and blah, blah, blah. So that's why you always have to find people that have to help you with things. You know, when you in the, the places where you have the weaknesses or you just don't want, not that it's a weaknesses, but it's just a don't want to be bothered with. You know, you, it's always good to know people that specialize in that and have them on board to help you. So I'm going to start looking for people to be on my board of um, for my nonprofit. And I don't want to put too much, I don't want to put it on my family, per se, or people that I know, per se, because a lot of people, um, you'll see that people change when you have, when you, when you are in a different, um, a realm of the friendship or the relationship, you know what I mean? Um, sometimes it's, it's, sometimes it's not a good idea to work with family members, Sometimes it's not a good idea to work with people you know. Um, it all depends. It really depends on the um, the kind of relationship you have, um, and so that it doesn't uh, clash, you know, just in case the relationship does. You know, that's always that's always a um, a thin line. You know, when you work together with your partner, or you work together with your friends, or when you work together with your your family, you know, in a business setting, sometimes it does it does um, create a problem, and a lot of people, you know, end up um, in court and they're fighting and arguing over possessions and arguing over ideas and arguing over creativity and arguing over this and that and the other, and it takes away from you know the original mission of helping people or whatever the mission was, whatever the creative mission was. And then it becomes a misunderstanding. And then if you if you are alleged to have done this or you are alleged to, to have done that, you can get kicked off the board. You can get, you know, and, and you know, it just becomes a whole nightmare for a lot of people. And so it's 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 a it's an area to that has to evolve where it's not so complicated number one number two there's not so much red tape there's not so much paperwork so much um uh i say rambling you know because it becomes it be it, it makes you stuck because you can't get past this unless that is approved you can't get past this unless that's approved so it just it just puts a whole lot of delay in getting things going and so i understand why a lot of people uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say they cut corners, but I know I understand why a lot of people kind of eliminate certain steps when when they're creating stuff, and that usually comes back to bite you, unfortunately, because a lot of these artists, these creative artists out there, do not even own their products, don't even own their uh, creativity, you know, because it wasn't set up properly. The contract that they signed was a fraudulent contract or was misrepresented in most cases it was misrepresented to the artist or the creative person because all we do is create you know we don't we don't you know we don't know the legalities of stuff but then legal you know you get the legal assistance and they are concerned more so about their fees and services and so a lot of artists lose their lose everything and that's why it's not a coincidence that certain creative artists are targeted you know and where they end up losing everything and don't have anything and everything belongs to the lawyer everybody everything belongs to the agent everything belongs to this and every, except the creative artists so that's why a lot of them are homeless I can guarantee you a lot of them that are uh, wandering around the streets usually at night because they feel safer walking around in the streets at night are these these are uh, world-class famous creative artists a lot of them come from black culture. Black culture gets taken advantage of with their creativity more than any group of people. And nobody's going to admit that or accept it because of these um, 
these intentional overwhelms. It's an intentional overwhelm. And so, and, and, and because our interpersonal relationships are severed in so many ways, um, it's hard to find people to trust and know that they have your best interests. So it's, all, so it's always those type of uh, factors that uh, prevent creative people from moving forward and making the necessary contributions to society. It's always the red tape. You know, it's always the, you know, uh, court proceedings, filing the paperwork, this and that and the other. It's just a constant overwhelm. And it's intentional because most of the people that create all of this stuff have no idea why it's created because it doesn't apply to them. It only applies to small business, usually women or people of color, okay, that go through, they have to jump through uh, all these roadblocks just to get out uh, the information to help people. And then they are usually the ones that are hurt the most. You know, they're kicked off of the board that they, you know, they kicked off of a nonprofit that they created. I've heard that happen so many times. That even happened here in our, in my local area. You know, a, a very uh, tragic event happened in this area. Uh, the owner of the facility or the, the establishment where the tragedy ha- happened, you know, decided to create a nonprofit. And to the best of my, and from what I understood, she got kicked off of it less than a year ago. So now someone else is running her creativity or her vision. I don't know. I don't know the insides and out of it. I don't know whether she thought of it or not. And the sad part is usually people, the the people that do the most damage to you are the people around you, your circle of friends or your circle of associates or your circle of um, uh, influence the people that are supposed to protect you are usually the ones that hurt you the most. You know they, you know they, you know they. they there's a, a jealousy and an envy that takes it takes place, and so that's why a lot of uh, these well world famous uh, creative artists, you know, they go in hiding. You know, because uh, you know, so, you know, some of them have been sued out of everything they've ever owned. And who would want a creative in that? Who want who would want to create in that certain type of environment? But is that's what happens, and it usually happens to women, and and people of color. You know, they you know their whole their vision is stolen per se, um, and it's an unfor- unfortunate thing. And so it, it ties the hands of the genuine, righteous people that genuinely care and want to help. Oh, I see that butterfly. I always, it always uh, flies through here. Because that's why I came out. Because I know usually the, the, these beautiful, colorful butterf- butterflies will come out. And I, I want to capture them. But they move quickly. And they probably know that I'm distracted. That's probably why they, you know, they, you know these, these insects and animals. And, and you know, they, are, they're, they have a genius mind. You know, I mean, they have to to deal with these humans on on this planet. You know how we destroy everything, but they they know how to work with nature very well, and they know exactly, you know, when to show their beautiful heads, as the, as they say. But anyway, um, so again, I finished up with the meeting presentation or orientation about setting up a nonprofit. Look at it. You see, just having fun in my yard. And of course, it was overwhelming. I mean, not really overwhelming, but I knew, I know eventually it will be because of the paperwork that's going to be involved. And um, and then I'm going to need to build the websites. Yeah, I used to build websites myself back in the day, but I just don't have the energy for that kind of stuff anymore. I really don't. Um, I don't know how the hell I did it, but I did. I created you know, built some websites back in the day, blogs. I've done all that stuff, and I just don't have the energy for it anymore because it's, it's, it's technical, and it takes a lot of my, uh, uh, my take, it takes me away from my creativity and everything else I need to do and all my other responsibilities. So, I don't, I, you know, that's why I don't want to be bothered with that. I'll, I'll allow someone else to create that. <clears throat> um, 
And so I think I have family members that do that kind of thing as well. I need to, you know, check with them, to, you know, these young, these young guns I have in my family who are extremely talented. I'll, I'll talk to them first as well and see before I decide on who I'll use. So anyway, I'm just out here contemplating. Um, it's, it's, it is warm, but the breeze does help a lot. And I was hoping I can capture some of these butterflies, but like I said, they're, they're extremely, resourceful and they know how to get away from me <laughs> get away from me in this camera <laughs> see when I don't bring my cell phone outside I have butterflies all over me all over here the black one more specifically and then all the other colorful ones so they know what's going on they know I'm trying to capture them they don't want me to bother them which I don't bother any of them but I just want to let you know how beautiful they are you know even though we're losing a lot of butterflies there's still some that do exist and they know the safe areas to to come to so you need to make it safe for for the animals and, and you know plant trees colorful flowers you know to bring them in to attract them to give them a home you know so that they can continue to flourish and uh, do everything they can to repair the damage we caused to the planet so anyway I just want to go ahead and share that bit and um, I'm going to go back inside in a minute and start reading some more, working on my creativity and and then taking it from there. But I want to send peace and love to everyone all over the world, all over the universe. And just tell you, just, just stick with it. You know, stay the course. You know, it's made difficult for us for a reason. Because they know of the power of women and the power of people of color and how we uh, we generate excellence and brilliant, uh, bring in brilliancy. Brilliancy to the world and we bring in the most impact of genuine universal love okay so peace and love and i'll definitely be back